I was probably safer on the roof of the Marsden than at home with Julianne. I can't remember exactly what she called me, but I seem to recall her using words like irresponsible, negligent, careless, immature, and unfit to be a parent. This was after she hit me with a copy of Marie Claire and made me promise never to do anything so stupid again. Charlie, on the other hand, won't leave me alone. She keeps bouncing on the bed in her pyjamas, asking me questions about how high up it was, whether I was scared, and did the fireman have a big net ready to catch me. At last I have something exciting to tell for news, she says, punching me on the arm. I'm glad Julianne doesn't hear her. Each morning, when I drag myself out of bed, I go through a little ritual. When I lean down to tie my shoes, I get a good idea of what sort of day I'm going to have. If it's early in the week and I'm rested, I'll have just a little trouble getting the fingers of my left hand to cooperate. Buttons will find buttonholes, belts will find belt loops, and I can even tie a Windsor nut. On my bad days, such as this one, it's a different story. <laughs>